What's good everybody? The last couple days I've been slaving away on this car. I wanna show you guys what I've been up to. So if you look in here, it's not the best job, but I got the cage all painted up. You can see all the way up into the top. So the next thing is I really wanna get the floor done, get the rest of the sound deadening out and get the floor painted or I was toying around with the idea of doing bed liner for the bottom of the car, the floor, and then do maybe some heel plates or something on the ground. So if you look down here, I'm uh, taking the knuckles off right now. I actually have this knuckle right here that I'll be using this year. So this is the Driftworks Geomaster 2s. They're a 55 or 50 mil drop knuckle. So that's gonna help fix my geometry up front as well as I have them for the rear as well. And I have this these villains dual caliper, this dual caliper set up. So it utilizes just a plate that goes on to the knuckle like so. And then, uh, well these bolts will be going the other way, obviously. The only thing is, if you're going to do this for yourself, with uh, modified knuckles. As you can see this whole surface right here is flat. Whereas this has a little uh, a little uh, protrusion on it, so it doesn't sit flat right here. So, what I'm gonna have to do is just grind down a little bit of the, the corners right here, the sides of the knuckle, to make it so that those can sit flat. And then uh, we should be good. Yesterday I got the other side, pretty close. I got it actually on the the ball joint and everything sitting. And then these are my top hats, new top hats. These are offset top hats. I have to cut the strut tower out and then the coilover will basically sit over here, which will make the kingpin angle of the coilover better. The only problem I'm having with these top hats is if you look at this, bolt right here it's too short so when you get it in there you can only get like one thread on there and that's no bueno I'm gonna have to go get some of those this car has basically been sitting all winter I've been working on Patrick Heald's stuff and for the Pro 2 program you guys should be seeing videos of that here shortly I'm still kind of working out some bugs with uh, the videos but uh I'm gonna get that squared away and then I'm gonna start releasing those so that should be a, an interesting series. Alright guys, so I came back, I kinda was looking at things and kinda analyzing what I have right here and and this doesn't really sit flat in there, um, it, it's kind of just a, a cheaper alternative but I'm not gonna be running these just because if you put them in here um, without the spacers, of course. You put them in here, they go up, and they don't like sit flat in there, so you have to run those spacers, and then they still don't sit really flat. And then, to get the coil over, over all the way, if you look, I have marked it. Like, I have to cut all of that strut tower out to get the coil over to move over there because of all of this because that all sticks up right there. So it's just been a pain to try and figure out how I'm gonna run this stuff. And I've come to the conclusion that I'm just gonna buy these guys right here. So these are the ones that I have. So these ones are flat and you go to those ones and then they're offset already. So it sits, it makes the this sit lower. So this doesn't hit top of the strut tower so all i have to do is drill a hole for the little dampener to sit right in here so i just have to drill one hole and i don't have to cut the whole strut tower out i'm going to order well i already ordered those uh they should be here in one to three business days it's currently saturday so monday should ship i should get it thursday or friday i'm hoping install saturday get it aligned, track day, Sunday. On a side note, I did get some 
something in the mail just a few minutes ago, and I'm gonna show you. Look at that thing. ASD Hydro E brake. Yeah. And put those dual calipers to use. So, this should sit right about there. Something like that. Should be sick. Now, I've been drifting for about four, three to four years now, and still no hydro, so we're gonna put it on. Don't worry though, I'm not gonna overuse it like most people do. I only use it to back the car up when I'm going to a, like an outer clip or you know something like that. I, I love clutch kick entries, but you know at some some tracks like Park, for instance, it's a fast high speed entry, and you don't have enough room to like do this clutch kick or anything. You know, you have to rip the e brake. So that's one of those things where I'm going to be using this a lot, but like evergreen i won't be using it all that much it's just going to be backing up to get those clips and stuff for the rear i got stub adapters to run 350z axles so a little bit stronger axles than the stocks i got the front suspension all on both sides i'm gonna have to lower the coilovers because if you can see that is way up so i'm gonna have to lower the coilovers or raise the coilovers, make them longer so that it moves this down so that my car is back at the right height. So I need different tie rods because these knuckles, uh, the tie rod thing is in, the different, in a different place. So I need shorter tie rods. So when I go to work on Monday, I'll grab some tie rods from uh, O'Reilly's. I'm gonna take the rear wheels off, get that up, get the knuckles off, get the axles off. See if I can pop those, um, what is it? Hey, my laundry's done. See if I can get the axle stubs out of the diffs so it's the next day. And I got some of the rear done. I got the old stuff off and on this side, I got the new knuckle on uh, right here. Hub on the knuckle, the bracket right here for the little caliper setup. So basically this will go like so and then that'll bolt on and I'll show you on the other side so this is how the final product will look so this is how it looks when it's done this rotor spins nice and easy so that's all good there. And you can see that my arms, it's still super low, right? Between the fender and all that, but the arms are actually straight now. So what that's gonna do is, is give me a whole lot more grip than I had before. As you can see, there's no diff in there. I ran into another issue. The issue being I bought a diff with the villain stubs adapters to Z33. So I, I can run Z33 axles in the rear. The stubs that I got with that diff are for the VLSD diff. So it won't work with my open differential, which is welded. So now I have to send those back. I'm just gonna order the other ones and they'll just refund me. That being said, he's hooked me up really well. So if you haven't already, go check out Villains. If you have a 240, they have tons of stuff on there. Their, their um, angle kit is like probably the most well-known angle kit on the market right now for 240SX. They also make some stuff for like RX-7s and stuff like that, but mostly 240SX stuff, like this dual caliper bracket setup. You can utilize a dual caliper with your stock calipers. And I, I believe that this is one of the only ones that you can do that with. Everything else is for Z32. I think everything's going pretty much to plan. I'm waiting on those top hats and I'm now I'm waiting on those axle stubs for the diff. The diff is sitting right here. It's just out. I gotta pop those stubs in, pop it back up, and then we should be good to go. I also got this uh, e-brake bracket for this nice ASD Hydro e-brake I already showed you. But what is dope about this setup is I bent 
I bent the e-brake over, so now it's closer to the shifter, but since I have a short shifter, it's not gonna affect anything. It's not gonna affect how close it is, because that's as close as it gets. That's first gear right there. So basically, if you look right here, this one's gonna sit right about there, and I can still use the stock e-brake, fully functional. So I'm super stoked on that. I've never seen anybody do that. And it's just like, I just bent it over, put that plate on. This plate is from Level Ride Concepts, I think is the, his name. He's out of Salem, Oregon. He's pretty local. Everybody that I know, they use this hydro e-brake. They'll usually put like a bungee cord in it and like tie it back to the cage or something back here. And I don't like that. Cause basically you're using the fluid to lock your e-brake. If any fluid bleeds off, it's gonna, your car's gonna roll away or whatever, you know? You want a cable so that the cable is just, it's tension on a cable and it's less likely to break or bleed off or you know, whatever. So I'm stoked on that. This side still needs to get lowered down. As you can see, the coilover is way up. And in the front, you can see that that's way up. Also, if you're wondering what this is, this is a little plate that goes around my, uh, my wiring harness to protect it from the tire. Uh, little ghetto, just just don't look at that. All right, I kind of want to get some oil, do some do an oil change on this. It hasn't been changed since last season. Here's a look if you guys haven't seen this. It's just a stock block KA making 260 horsepower to the wheels. Excessive manufacturing intake manifold, dock race manifold with a T28 ball bearing S15 turbo. It's on about eight PSI right now, but I'm gonna turn it up to about 11 or so for this season, make a little more horsepower. Okay guys, so it's been a few days later and I got one of the offset top hats put on. So if you can see in here, it's kind of hard, I'll give you some light. But uh, you can see in there, the coilover has moved way over. I'm just gonna run the dampening about halfway in the front and probably not worry about it. If I do, I, it's not that hard to just take it off, slide it over, put the dial on, turn it, and then you know put it back or whatever, but I think it'll be fine for what I'm doing. So I got this all on, it all adjusted, the camber is all the way in on the bottom side, and all the way out, it's maxed out on this guy. I chose to go forward just because that's how Pat had it on his car last year. But if you look here, so I got about four degrees of camber, I just checked it. And when you turn, you can see, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the tire is just about flat. It's got just a touch of camber, and then you go this way, and it's pretty dead nuts flat. So once the tire compresses, that's one of those things that I gotta kinda check out. Once it compresses, you know, is this gonna be way over and is it gonna be way over on the other side or what? I'm gonna try and adjust these to get the best of both worlds, the best possible flat contact patch to maximize front grip. And make sure that the kingpin angle, the coilover, make sure that that is straight up and down. Hopefully I'll be uh, super quick with the front grip as well as the rear grip to push push the car along. If you guys are running uh, grassroots, better better step up your game, cause I am. Last year, basically had a bolt on little angle kit, modified knuckle. Right here, just a modified knuckle. And uh, all stock rear stuff, stock handbrake. Basically it just had coils, extended lower control arm, modded knuckle, that's it. So this is kind of what it's gonna look like for the handbrake. I kinda, I'm not really liking how far forward it is, but I kinda gotta get the seat in there to figure out, you know, where exactly I really want it. Basically all it needs in here is the seat put in, the harnesses bolted down, the e-brake plate needs to get bolted down, e-brake needs to get bolted down, and then obviously we need to run the lines. I don't know if I'm gonna have a working uh, hydro this event, just because everything going on right now, I just don't, I just don't know when I'm gonna have time to make the lines and all of that. I'm actually having EOP distributing 
Mark over there, he's gonna hook it up and he's gonna get me some lines made up from the front to the back calipers, all you know, basically custom. So if you if you have an e-brake or you're doing brakes or lines or AN fittings or anything like that, hit him up because he'll he'll definitely hook you up and give you a, a good deal. I wanted to get the diff all sealed up with the stubs and everything, but they're just not here yet, and I don't think that they're gonna be here until, you know, probably the end of the day tomorrow, so that's when we'll shove the diff in and the axles and all of that. Pop the drive line on, the rear should be done. Now what I didn't tell you guys is that this right here, the top to the coilover, so it's this piece right here, that was bad. So if you see right here, see how I can just easily move it around? You shouldn't even be able to move that with your fingers. Patrick hooked me up with his Fortune Auto ones. WiseFab kit comes with different um, pillow balls for that kit. So he just had extras, he hooked me up with that. Well, I got a lot done while I didn't film. It's now Saturday. I was planning on going to Nissan Fest today, but hopefully I can still make it out there, but I still gotta align the car and everything. So basically I got everything done. You can see right there, up in there, I got the villain stubs on there with 350Z axles up in there. The ride height should be all adjusted pretty much to the way I want it. I got the hydro e-brake all mounted, sturdy to this, bolted that to the bottom. I got the harness loops right there, done up. So the harness is all good. Tied it to the back of the cage. Got this all adjusted so it fits me and everything. So we're all uh, pretty much ready to go. There's one thing I still have to do on the front, but other than that, it's pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna take it over to Patrick's shop uh, and then I'm gonna try to align it to the best of my abilities. That's kind of where I'm at. I got everything in. It's pretty much ready to go for tomorrow. I'm so, so ready to drive. I got the car all done. Well, not aligned yet, but basically should be good to drive. Nice painted cage and all of that. Harness is installed. Hydro, hydro's mounted. It's not blood or anything. If you can see in there, there's a control arm right there. It's about maybe an inch away from the wheel, maybe less. So I do not think that I'm gonna be running, I'm gonna be able to run 15s anymore. Not like I really want to. I wanna just run 18s, but it's just money thing. So I need more wheels more 18s see if we can get this thing aligned and maybe get it washed look at this so i got the car on the lift and if you turn it all the way to lock there's still room right here in the rack to go in so I'm not reaching full lock. This is actually hitting the control arm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to a stock tie rod that's about this big instead of that big. So that I'll uh, I'll go a little bit further in with the steering rack, give me a little bit more angles. As ready as she'll ever be. <laughs> we aligned it as best of our abilities in the short amount of time that we had. Yeah. We like my car better though. Yeah, we put strings all the way around it and did all of that and did it all perfect and then mine just gets the shitty treatment. Whatever. I'll, I'll just make up for it when I drive. I'm better than him, so. Right. Says that, the guy that's, why like, he's, that's why he's pro too. Says the guy who got like, I don't even know, too far back for me to even remember in grassroots last year. I still beat Devin, so that's all that matters. <laughs> Sorry, Devin. guys I'm gonna go get the trailer we're gonna get this thing loaded and then uh, see you guys over at the track peace